Here on the post game, Sean Myers now joined by the victorious head coach Brian Brozeski, who is so tall that the microphone <laughs> does not even reach properly. Uh, I would imagine that you're probably right now thinking about the, the turnovers and mistakes in the fourth quarter, but the three quarters that preceded, especially uh, that third quarter, I, I thought your team played really well overall. I know that early in the season you're still trying to work through some of the kinks. Is that how you approach a game like this? 100%. And there's a reason why you schedule a game like this too because PT, they always come in prepared. They run good uh, sets on offense. They know different versatility on defense. And it's just going to be a, a grind-out playoff environment type game because you're going to get a good stand presence and you're just going to get a good competitive game. And so a tough game, but just proud that we are able to kind of weather that storm and come out on top. Palangio led your team in the first half with 12 points, but throughout the entire night, her mark was made defensively. I bet she had at least a half dozen blocks in this one, if not more. What is she able to do on both ends, but in particular the defensive end that just wreaks havoc on the opposition? Yeah, so what Lauren does is a lot of people don't realize how well she actually moves her feet. And so not only could she be a post paint present for us, but she can actually help us contain drives and be able to try to dis disengage people that are trying to get to the rim. When you think about where your team left off last year, the calling card, of course, was the defense. You found some, some ways to win tight games in the postseason. How much ahead of last season do you think you are right now, or where do you see maybe areas where you still have to get to in terms yeah, of last season's team? It, it, honestly, uh, I don't have a really good memory. <laughs> and so it's hard for me to do a lot of comparison to last year. I live right now and this year. And I like the fact that you know the girls are buying into the fact that, all right, each game we got to show improvement. This game, we saw a lot more pressure and a lot more pressure situations than we saw last time. And you can see that we're not used to that or acclimated to that just yet. But that's good experience, and I think it's going to have a positive effect on both teams moving on. Making that run to the state semis with the vast majority of your team back, do you feel as though the players gain confidence and now know sort of what it takes, how to handle pressure and adversity going through that? I think the experience is the thing. You know, last year was last year, and they got good experience. But now this year, you know, that that we, we can't dwell on what we did last year. We got to get used to this year's speed and this year's schemes because what you put out on film, people are watching, and they're making adjustments to you. So you can't live in the same realm. You got to make sure that you're willing to go ahead and improve because if you don't improve, you're going backwards. And if you go backwards, it's not a good place to be. Ava Christopher is a player that you think can be a big-time contributor, but she struggled offensively tonight. What do you say to a player like that who has obviously done a lot of good things, but tonight just didn't have the offense yeah, going? And, and every night, you know, different players are going to have good games, different players are going to have bad games. What she brings to the table, though, on the offensive side is something, but to the, what we really like out of her is on the defensive side. So anything on the offense is bonus for us. What she does defensively really gives us a good advantage. Lastly, does it mean a little bit more for you in particular, the players, to knock off a, a, a local rival like Penn Trafford? You know what, honestly, I'm just glad it was a good game on both sides. Uh, coach Giannikas and I go way back. He's always been not only like a competitive coach, but he's been a good friend, been helpful. And so it's nice that both teams were able to go out and put a good product on the court today. And hopefully this pays dividends and both teams can have success moving forward. Well, go enjoy this victory, Brian, and uh, thanks for taking the time. Thanks, Sean. All right.